As we have seen, polypaints places color on the vertices of a model or the points. Now that we have the UV map, we can transfer color from points to a 2D map and back again. So we can go back and forth. So let's see how we can do that. So uh, you have to go to the UV map option, uh, which is down here. You just have to click on it and you will see that you have these options over here. Now, the first thing to generate a texture, you have to first make sure what is your resolution so what resolution you want so at this stage i will just keep the resolution 512 and let's see what happens if we generate a texture usually by default you will see it will be 4k but what i did and you can increase it also but what i did is that i uh, moved it down to 512 now i have to go to the texture map option now i'm inside my texture map option where i will generate whatever uh settings i have put over here now what you need to do here is that you just have to uh, click on the new texture as soon you will click on the new texture what it will do is that it will give you something like this okay now i want to create a texture from a polypane so i have to go in the create option and click on new from a polypane so when i will click on new from polypane so whatever painting I have done, it will become a texture and it will paste over here. Now, as you can see, it, it does not look right. The reason is that because we didn't apply the UV map on it. Okay. So I will turn this off right now and then I will remove this one from here. I will just go here and texture off. And simply, uh, I will go to my Z plugin here, uncheck this, or keep the polygroups open. By the way, this file you can find in the link in the description below. You can download. And polygroups, I will keep it open because uh, I will unwrap it with the help of the polygons. Okay. And I will press unwrap over here. So as soon I will press unwrap here, it will give me this error. That means I have to go to lower subdivision. I will go back to my lower subdivision unwrap it and then i will go back to my higher subdivision level now what i can i will do here is that i will press the new texture okay so and then it will turn on but i have to create from the polypane if i will click on the polypane you will see that i have this texture on but if i zoom in you can see that the quality is not that good the reason is that because when i was generating this i had generated this texture while using the value 512. so what i can do here is that if i want a better a good quality so i can go to my uh higher subdivision or like higher like resolution and generate but before doing that if i will go to my lower subdivision level here like suppose I will press shift D and keep on going down. So you can see that the quality here is not changing. Okay. Because uh, what it is doing is that it's only, uh, you know, uh, cranking down my subdivision level, but it's not cranking down my uh, like texture quality. Why? Because I'm looking at the texture map. I'm not looking at the actual poly paint. If I will turn off the texture, now you can see this is the basically your poly paint. Okay, so let me do one thing. Let me type here P, or like a paint here P over here. So that means it will make it, uh, you know, it will give you a, a kind of a uh, like difference. So if I will turn on my texture here, so you see it's not the P is not anymore because I'm in the texture. Okay. So this is how your texture will stay as it is if you are like you know regardless you are on the lower subdivision level or higher subdivision level let me go to the higher subdivision level here now uh, let's go back to uh, uv map here now instead of 512 what i will do here is that i will change this one to maybe 496 which is really high and then i will go back to my uh, texture map here and new from polypaint as soon i will do that it will, it will it will replace my older one with the new one and just see what happens to the quality if i do that 
So I will just go here, new form polypaint. As soon as I will click on it, so you can see that I have this one. But uh, actually, the, pro the issue was that I painted this one on my polypaint. That's why it is giving this error. So let me do one thing. Let me go back to my, uh, let me turn this on and go to uh, and you know take the color that i want here okay white color remove this one and then again i will generate it so that will be fine okay so now if i will go here and click on new form polypaint make sure the quality is okay that's fine now new form polypaint now you will see the resolution is much better than before unlike what it was before, uh, like with the 512 so this will give you much more better result even if you will go to your uh, low subdivision level this will stay because it's showing you the texture it's not showing you the polypaint so if i will turn it off so you can see this is the polypaint but this is the texture and if i will go all the way back to the higher so it will be just like this so depending on uh, what you're working on, you might need to experiment to see what resolution of the texture map, uh, map works out best for you. Sometimes the texture map of 4K might be overkill, but as this is a, uh, like, you know, a, a very simple polypaint, so it's not making any difference uh, on the 4K. So uh, you just need a good uh, RAM and processor. Other times you might need to set this higher. You might uh, have to drag the slider, uh, which is here to all the way higher maybe to 800 uh, 8000 which is the 8k uh, 8k map so uh, it's totally depends uh, on your requirement and what in the end you are going to do so for me right now even 2k will work out so uh, if if you will crank it up uh, to 8k so this is when your texture in polypaint is going to become more and more uh, you know high risk but for this case i don't uh, want this one so now as you have seen that we took polypaint and we turned that into this sort of a texture so we can also go uh, the other direction we can go the other way around we can turn a texture into a polypaint so if we uh, want to do this what we have what you can do just click over here and this uh, on this button and instead of the one that you just created okay uh, you can if you want to export it you can also export it like you can just go to texture option here and the one that you have here okay uh, you can uh, export uh, easily okay you just have to go to the texture option okay clear on the texture okay and choose the one that you are looking for uh, I think you have to press you have to first press uh, the new texture button here okay so when you press this oops let me undo that not the new texture sorry you have to press on the clone texture button here so as soon as you will press the clone texture it will show over here then you can go to the texture it will show here over well uh, like as well and then you can export and wherever you want to export and whatever format you want to export you can do that Sometimes in some applications, some software like 3D Studio Maya, if you want to use this, so what will happen? It will flip vertically. So you can do one thing before exporting, you can just click on this button, flip V, and it will flip it, and then you can export it. But I will keep it as it is right now because I don't want to export it. So just go here, turn this off. Okay, now, uh, as I was saying, I can bring up any other texture file here instead of this so i can click here and i can go to any one of these here so like suppose i can take this uh texture of the globe or these jelly beans so maybe take this uh, grass here so if i click so he will become like a grass but but what is this basically this is not a, a polypaint this is a texture so if i turn it on or off it will uh like you know it will toggle on and off because it's not a uh, like poly paint it's a texture simple image as a texture so how i can convert this texture into a poly paint so to do that i will go to the poly paint option here 
and I have a uh, one option uh, the poly paint is just above your UV map so if you will go to poly map uh, like paint here you have here uh, poly paint from texture so if I will click on poly, uh, like poly paint from texture here and then go back to textures and you can turn this off and you can see that still you have that texture here why you have this texture because this is not a texture anymore this is a poly paint here so this has become a poly paint so this is how you can convert a, a like a texture into a poly paint and then you can continue from here to create something else and while we were transferring this our rgb intensity was on 100 that means 100 percent it is applied let me do one thing let me undo whatever we have done so far and if you will see that i am back to this uh, poly paint again now this time if i will change my rgb intensity here to something like this and then if i will go to the poly paint and poly paint from texture so you can see that it with the rgb intensity with the uh, intensity of 15 i was able to apply this here so if you want something like this kind of result so it's totally up to you you can combine your own poly paint with the texture okay and this kind of result you can get if you want this so why not go ahead with this so now you can see if uh, we will go down in our subdivision level by pressing sh uh, shift d so you can that you can see that it is affecting because now it is not a texture in anymore it's it has become a polypane and if i will press d back so it will go to the higher subdivision level this will work exactly like a polypane usually works so I hope now you know how to do this and one uh, uh, last thing again I as a repeat I will tell you if you want to export something okay so let me undo everything till we reach to where we were okay so let me undo more a couple of times so I can, can get my texture map back here so if you want to export this texture map simple what you need to do is that you have to just press on the clone texture so what it will do is that it will load inside your texture option here and as well if you go to the texture option on the top it will be here now whatever is here will be exported if you are exporting it for uh, 3d studio max or maya so maybe you have to flip it vertically otherwise uh, just check if it works it's fine if it doesn't you have to come back here flip it vertically and then export it okay but i'm not exporting so i will not uh, make it like you know vertical or something like that so now that you know how to convert between texture map and poly paint you could bring in texture map what that was made in another program and then edit it in zbrush and then export it back out again so this is how it works so if you like my video please click on the like button uh, like click on the like button if you have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe it and i will highly appreciate if you can share it or give me a shout out on your uh, your social media account so it uh, will definitely help me to get more and more subscriber and i will really appreciate if you will do this for me so support me so that i can get motivated and create more content more tutorials courses for you all so till we meet in the next lesson take care of yourself everyone